<laughs> Alrighty, y'all. Today, I'm leaving to drive down to South Carolina to pick up my brand new boat, which you're gonna see later in this film. So, uh, you know, I thought this was kind of good that I started this series off just talking in a car, just me saying, hey, you know, back in February, this is what I'm gonna do. And, you know, I've held true to that, got my check right here for the for the boat. We're gonna drive down there. Oh, she's a beauty, guys. I can't wait to, you know, inspect her over. I'm sure that she's flawless. Just can't wait to get it. Can't wait to get it and can't wait to get out there. Um, thanks for joining me on this vlog and purchasing my first bass boat. I'm gonna go into, you know, lessons learned, things that I've had to purchase right off the bat. So this series is gonna keep going. Um, so stay tuned for that because there's still a lot more, a lot of topics that I can cover uh, in purchasing this first bass boat. I mean, the just trying to learn everything that I need to learn with you know, the motor and the boat parts and everything has been fairly intense. Uh, just a ton of information that I've been able to learn. And uh, I'll share with you some of those resources that I've used to learn that and some of my best tips that have helped me become comfortable with this. So stay tuned. Let's get down there to South Carolina to, to pick up this boat. <laughs> oh man, let me tell you this, this right now, is my extremely, extremely livid face. Like if you are ever on the receiving end of this face and you see this face about to happen, it is about to happen. <laughs> I am not, you know what? I expect honesty and and I think everybody who's out there as a consumer should just expect honesty, up forwardness. And I'm in North Carolina. I'm about four hours uh, from Annapolis. I'm driving to South Carolina to pick up a boat. A boat that I have a $48,000 check for. A boat that I've already got insurance on. A boat that, you know, I've been like uh, I'm ready to pick this thing up all week and uh, 530 530 the place closes at 6 530 they send me a shot of the front of the bow right up under there looks like someone has decently run this boat up on a dock and really severely scratched the the gel coat who knows what the structural integrity of it is. And again, I'm in North Carolina. I'm coming down. I'm almost in South Carolina to go pick up this boat. And this is what I get on the phone. Um, now I didn't resort to cussing or anything like that because that's gonna get me nowhere. Could it have been an honest mistake with the way that the boat was positioned in their showroom? Possibly, I think uh, I think they probably would have had notes that the front of the boat was uh, substantially damaged. So, you know, I'm gonna give the salesperson, even because I like her, uh, I'm gonna give her the the benefit of the doubt there. But uh, I am <laughs> I am extremely unhappy right now. I mean, I sat in traffic for a good couple hours to get through D.C. Uh, to get past Stafford, Virginia, sheesh. And here I am, side of the road. I'm telling you guys, this is, uh, <laughs> this is a new, a new anger. Actually, I'm not quite to the anger level that, like I've got anger levels to where I'm extremely livid, which is where I'm at now. And the one I surpass after that is just hystericalness because I just, to you're just like, I, I can't even, that's, I'm, I'm so mad I can't even be angry. But right now, this I'm definitely mad at, for sure. For sure. I cannot believe this. 
I cannot absolutely believe this. So I'm gonna get on the phone with them. Again, they close at six and it is 548. I'm expecting more pitchers, which, uh, again, I can't believe this.